about right. it, like because of how they have to flip their head upside down. And like I was, so I was, I was reading about the all the ways that their beak is so weird and how e- it's even in like the way that the beak attaches to the head where uh-huh. like in most birds, the top part is the part that's fixed onto the head and the lower part moves around except for parrots. I think parrots can move the top part too. Cause they're like special and they have to use their beaks like in a bunch of different ways. But like for flamingos, the bottom part is kind of bolted on uh-huh. and the bottom part is fixed, but the top part hinges. And I was just thinking about, I was like, I know to maybe to like us and maybe people who haven't like looked a ton into like how evolution like changes anatomy. That seems like not a big deal. It seems like, okay, the hinge is just in a different place. But like that's a huge change to make, like to change the way that like a structure connects to the skull like that is like that is an enormous change. And like it, it is really, really mind blowing to me that they're able to like basically restructure the entire entire like <laughs> yeah th- this entire main feeding structure of their face to make it make sense upside down 